Life is karma. If you want to become no karma, there's no such thing. What do you think we have been doing with you? With inner engineering, you suddenly felt a new sense of life and freedom and things. It's happened to millions of people, I know this. All that happened is, we gave you little tools with which you stopped creating new karma and suddenly it felt so wonderful. There are many ways to look at this. How do I perform activity? Karma means let us understand this, karma does not mean just doing something in the world alone. You sit here, you're performing karma, karma of sitting here. Body is functioning, it's breathing, taking in oxygen, leaving carbon dioxide. The tree is blessing you because you're letting enough carbon dioxide out. Suppose that also you stored in yourself and made a diamond so that you could give it to somebody. No, no, carbon, no? Sign. Then the tree would look at you and say, what kind of a lout are you? Even carbon dioxide you're not letting it out, that's one kind of karma I'm telling you. So if you sit here and breathe, as far as uh, the tree is concerned, you are doing a good karma. You don't know. You can be conscious too tree is giving me oxygen, I am giving carbon dioxide. Does it mean you have to breathe hard? Nothing like that, you just breathe, it's anyway happening. So physical karma is happening. Mental karma is always going on for most human beings almost all the time. Emotional karma is going on, energy karma is going on, otherwise you wouldn't be alive. So karma is happening. It's not necessarily what you do consciously, it's just happening. Life is karma. If you want to become nash karma, that means people think no karma. If you want to become no karma, there's no such thing, you can become very minimal karma. So is a couch potato nash karma? No, no, lethargy is a tremendous amount of karma because it takes lot of work to be lethargic in the sense you will have to generate a lot of explanations for everything and convince yourself that you don't have to do anything about it. Right now, there is virus going on, somebody is dying around you, you have to do something within yourself, not to respond to that. Otherwise, it's natural for you to respond to it. So, being a couch potato is not nash karma. Well, a yogi can become almost like a hibernating state where everything is minimized, but still he is not free for, from karma. He may take less number of breaths per minute. You may be taking twelve to fifteen minutes, when somebody simply sits, they may just go down. Maybe three breaths, maybe six or eight, but below that you cannot go. You can even stop for some time, but it's only some time. If you stay without a breath, not by holding, just by lowering the metabolism, then slowly a different level of karma will begin to pick up momentum in the body. When it picks up, anyway it'll breathe. Again it may go into breathless state, again it'll come back. So this way you can minimize, but still you're not free. You will have to get up to drink little water or put something in your mouth. When you put something in, something has to go out. All these things are karmas. So what is the way to handle this? Well, what do you think we have been doing with you? 
with inner engineering, what do you think it is? It is simply this. Many of you, <laughs> almost all of you, when you did even the online inner engineering program, you still not yet done any practice or you went through the program first two days, no practice yet, we're still talking to you. Suddenly, after two days, you suddenly felt a new sense of life and freedom and things. It's happened to millions of people, I know this. Suddenly you light up. Not because your all your old karma went away, just those two days you did not create too much fresh karma. Suddenly it's feeling so light and wonderful because you're not creating unnecessary burden upon yourself. So what was the trick? The, there are various aspects, let me not go into all that now. The simplest thing is this, your ability to respond. See, whether I should do something or not, if I think about it, Right now, many people are struggling with this. Let us say uh, somebody around, somewhere close, fortunately it's not come to our panchayat area yet, we are managing it in a very tight way, no infections anywhere close by. So in Coimbatore there are some. So let's say somebody is infected there, now should I do something or not? Huh, why should I do? Other people will do. Who are those other people? We don't know, he must have a family, let them do. But if we just put up that man's suffering in front of you, you will have to do lot of work not to do anything. But to respond in whichever way you can, not everybody can go and say, save everybody's lives, but at least do whatever you can. It's very simple. The amount of karma you have to do, mental karma, will come down dramatically within your mind simply because your response has become indiscriminate. Indiscriminate in response, but not indiscriminate in action, because you cannot afford to be indiscriminate in action. In action, you are always discerning because action requires physical capability, energy, intelligence, means to do it, time to do it, many things are involved and these are all limited commodities. Nobody can do indiscriminate activity. If they do indiscriminate activity, they will die very soon and that is also a bad karma. Yes, it is. Activity is not indiscriminate but our response is indiscriminate. Wherever it is, I would like to do something, if possible, everything that's possible we'll do. For what is not possible, we at least have a little intention. Just because of that, you came to the program and you felt such a sense of freedom. People have been asking me, Sadhguru, how will the online program work without the practice? I want you to know, before you came for the Shambhavi initiation, already you were feeling fantastic. Simply because you stopped creating fresh karma. Old karma did not go away in those three, four days. Just that new load is not happening. For the old karma, actually just living is enough. Sitting here, breathing, living, heart beating, is good enough to start dissolving the old karma. A few things need a little more nudge, but most of the things will just go away. If you simply sit here, breathe, live, heart will beat by itself, you don't have to do anything or are you doing... Some of you think you are doing everything. <laughs> the whole uh, issue with people when it comes to their health and whatever, because everybody is an internet doctor now, you know, They've done a lot of research. Doctors are having hell because every patient who comes knows more about the damn thing 
then the doctor is supposed to know. Doctor knows something more profound because he spent nine, ten years studying and experience of treating people. But these people looked it up. After they came to know they have this particular ailment, last three days they looked up everything that's on the internet. And now all kinds of questions, they go with their own prescription. Please give me this drug, other, other drugs I will not take. Whole lot of them coming to doctors and saying, I will not take this drug, I will take only this. This is supposed to be a very educated patient. A highly educated patient means you are going to be a lifelong patient, you need to understand. Yes, if you become a lifelong doctor, it's a good thing. You become a lifelong patient, very qualified patient, what is the point of that? This is simply because you think you are doing this, tuk, 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 you have to do. You have to check how many beats are happening, everybody is wearing a band. Well, people ask me, Sadhguru, you must go through a master checkup, you must have this. I say, what? Every year I am going to... I am trekking in the Himalayas, I am in Tibet, I am going to Kailash. It's my t stress test. If I don't make it, you bury me in Himalayas, that's all. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you live. Because you pay little attention to yourself, you know what's happening. Well, if you notice something is wrong, then uh, you go to the doctor and maybe get little more qualified advice on that. That's different. But all the time being worried, what is happening, what is happening, this itself is sickness. Too much concern about health itself is sickness and it's a terrible karma. This karma will have an enduring effect on you. So this is all that happened in the first three days of inner engineering, online or otherwise. All that happened is, we gave you little tools with which you stopped creating new karma. And suddenly it felt so wonderful. You did that little homework, okay? Little homework. What happened today? Five things to write down. Just because of that homework, you paid attention to what you're doing and what you're not doing, suddenly tremendous sense of liberation. If uh, a two and a half hour program can have such an impact on you, if you pay a little more attention in this lockdown time, you can just learn how not to create karma. Simply this, that your response is unbridled. You don't decide what is worth responding, what is not worth responding. It's not your business. A bird, a grasshopper, an ant, a human being, man, woman, child, doesn't matter. You respond. Do you have to act? No. Action is always a discerning action because there are quantities involved in action which are not unlimited. Our energy is not unlimited, our intelligence is not unlimited, our actions in no way can be unlimited, they're always limited. But our ability to respond is limitless. This one thing, just this one thing, if you do, you will not create any karma today. You will not add up load. Just not adding up new load, you will see it feel like liberation. That's a kind of damage you're doing to yourself. Why do you think when you were a child you were like this, still you had loads of warehouse of karma on you, but still you were grinning, now you became like this. A virus Sadhguru, virus. Even before the damn virus came, most people were looking so grave, it looked like they walked out of it. Yes, this is because every day building up this rubbish endlessly. Every day, whatever happens, you build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. Something happens, something doesn't happen. For everything you create a mess within yourself and the load of that mess, just garbage. You're like a garbage truck, I'm telling you. Yes. But now it's a lockdown, you don't have to pick up any garbage. 
That's a good thing about lockdown. You just simply, you don't be selective. Who are you? Who are you to decide what is worth your attention, what is not? Whatever created all this, whoever created all this, do you see a blade of grass is created with as much care as this big tree or yourself or, a, or an elephant or a tiger? A little creature, a tiny little insect that is going there is better decorated than you. Hello? You have to put on all kinds of dice <laughs> They are all very well painted by themselves. So whoever created, has creation paid any less attention to these tiny little creatures than yourself? No. So then who are you to decide what to respond to, what not to respond to? Your ability to respond always has to be unbridled. If you're not getting what I'm saying, uh, well, we can't come and teach you now. There is a Inner Engineering Online. Just go through this three days, just first three days, what is being said there, let it sink into you, soak into it, soak this in completely. You will see, in three, four days time you feel like you're floating simply because no new garbage. That's how it feels. So please make it happen. There is no need to go on adding up trash load upon your head.